बी रेडी फाइव सेकेंड्स स्टार्ट सर प्लानिंग इज द वाइटल इंस्ट्रूमेंट वी हैव अडॉप्टिड टू रियलाइज द सोशल ऑब्जेक्टिव एनश्राइंड इन आवर कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन थ्रू द फाइव ईयर प्लान्स वी हैव ऑलरेडी अचीव्ड ए सिग्निफिकेंट इंक्रीज इन द नेशनल इनकम इन द पास्ट एटीन ईयर्स एंड लेड द फाउंडेशंस ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजिकल एडवांस द प्लान इज फास्ट मॉडर्नाइजिंग आवर एग्रीकल्चर एंड स्ट्रेंथनिंग एंड डाइवर्सिफाइंग आवर इंडस्ट्री अब ऑल इट हैज री एनफोर्सड नेशनल यूनिटी एंड परपस द अटैक ऑन आवर टेरिटरी इन 1962 and again in 1965 forced us to modify the pattern of national expenditure before we could reconcile the competing claims of development and defense drought struck us foreign credits became uncertain recession followed all these seriously restricted our freedom of choice we had to divert our energies to fight drought and near famine and their aftermath for some time long term planning had to be virtually suspended but we succeeded in turning adversity to good use we concentrated on import substitution which further enlarged our industrial base this along with the need for more foreign exchange put us on the path of a more fruitful export drive we maintained our investment in development work especially in intensive agricultural programs a new period has now opened there is a welcome upsurge in the economy and the increases in agricultural production have brought us nearer to self sufficiency in food grains but inevitably there are other problems and a fresh challenge to face rural disparities have increased partly owing to the very efforts we have made to move rapidly towards self sufficiency in food and partly owing to a certain slowness in the matter of implementing the land reforms although the industrial recession has been curbed new industries are not coming up fast enough and unemployment especially of technically trained persons continues to be acute we have a larger and understandably enough and more distinct population planning is the method to which we are committed for meeting such challenges we have carried out 3 5 year plans each 5 year plan has addressed itself specially two problems which have emerged either because of new political and economic developments in the country and in the world or as a consequence of progress we have already achieved the priorities and the emphasis 
ਹੈਵ ਨੈਸਰੀਲੀ ਚੇਂਜਡ ਐਂਡ ਹੈਵ ਹੈਡ ਟੂ ਬੀ ਐਡਜਸਟਡ ਫਰਮ ਪਲਾਨ ਟੂ ਪਲਾਨ ਬਟ ਵੀ ਹੈਵ ਆਲਵੇਜ਼ ਕੈਪਟ ਇਨ ਵਿਊ ਆਵਰ ਲੌਂਗ ਟਰਮ ਆਬਜੈਕਟਿਵਸ ਐਂਡ देयर ਅਚੀਵਮੈਂਟ ਦਿ ਸੈਵਨਥ ਪਲਾਨ ਰਿਪਰੈਜ਼ੈਂਟਸ ਏ ਕੌਨਸ਼ੀਅਸ ਇੰਟਰਨਲੀ ਕੰਸਿਸਟੈਂਟ ਐਂਡ ਕੇਅਰਫੁਲੀ ਥਾਟ ਆਊਟ ਪ੍ਰੋਗਰਾਮ ਫਾਰ ਦਿ ਮੋਸਟ ਐਫੀਸ਼ੀਐਂਟ ਐਕਸਪਲੋਇਟੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਆਵਰ ਰਿਸੋਰਸਸ ਪੋਸੀਬਲ ਇਨ ਐਗਜ਼ਿਸਟਿੰਗ ਕੰਡੀਸ਼ਨਸ ਦਿ ਬੇਸਿਕ ਏਮ ਇਜ਼ ਟੂ ਰੇਜ਼ ਦਿ ਸਟੈਂਡਰਡ ਆਫ ਲਿਵਿੰਗ ਆਫ ਦਿ ਪੀਪਲ ਐਸਪੈਸ਼ਲੀ ਆਫ ਦਿ ਲੈਸ ਪ੍ਰਿਵਿਲੇਜਡ ਸੈਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਆਫ ਸੋਸਾਇਟੀ ਆਵਰ ਪਲੈਨਿੰਗ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਰਿਜ਼ਲਟ ਨਾਟ ਓਨਲੀ ਇਨ ਐਨ ਇੰਟੀਗ੍ਰੇਟਿਡ ਪ੍ਰੋਸੈਸ ਆਫ ਇਨਕਰੀਜ਼ਡ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਬਟ ਰੈਸ਼ਨਲ ਡਿਸਟ੍ਰੀਬਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਦਿ ਐਡਿਡ ਵੈਲਥ ਦਿ ਓਵਰਰਾਈਡਿੰਗ ਇਨਸਪੀਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਮਸਟ ਬੀ ਏ ਬਰਨਿੰਗ ਸੈਂਸ ਆਫ ਸੋਸ਼ਲ ਜਸਟਿਸ ਵਾਈਲ ਇਨਕਰੀਜ਼ਡ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਆਫ ਦਿ ਅਟਮੋਸਟ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਸ ਇਟ ਇਜ਼ ਇਕੁਅਲੀ ਇੰਪੋਰਟੈਂਟ ਟੂ ਰਿਮੂਵ ਔਰ ਰਿਡਿਊਸ ਐਂਡ ਪ੍ਰੀਵੈਂਟ ਦਿ ਕੰਸੈਂਟ੍ਰੇਸ਼ਨ ਆਫ ਵੈਲਥ ਐਂਡ ਇਕਨੋਮਿਕ ਪਾਵਰ ਦਿ ਬੈਨੀਫਿਟਸ ਆਫ ਡਿਵੈਲਪਮੈਂਟ ਸ਼ੁੱਡ ਐਕਰਿਊ ਇਨ ਇਨਕਰੀਜ਼ਿੰਗ ਮੈਜਰ ਟੂ ਦਿ ਕਾਮਨ ਮੈਨ ਐਂਡ ਦਿ ਵੀਕਰ ਸੈਕਸ਼ਨਸ ਆਫ ਸੋਸਾਇਟੀ ਸੋ ਦੈਟ ਦਿ ਫੋਰਸਸ ਆਫ ਪ੍ਰੋਡਕਸ਼ਨ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਫੁਲੀ ਅਨਲੀਜ਼ਡ a sense of involvement or participation by the people as a whole is vital for the success of any plan of rapid economic growth this can only be evoked by securing social justice by reducing disparities of income and wealth and by redressing regional imbalances our orientation of our socio economic institutions in this spirit is accordingly the first necessity one year of this plan has already gone by between the draft plan and the present document certain important changes have been made the projected investment in the public sector has been stepped up so as to enable us to undertake a larger and bolder agenda of work new schemes have been added to help the small farmer throughout the country especially in the unirrigated areas the emphasis is squarely on areas that have hitherto suffered from neglect of transport and housing problems in urban regions will receive more attention a small but significant beginning is also being made with special programs for children the seventh plan thus provided a necessary corrective to the earlier trend which helped particularly the stronger sections in agriculture as well as in industry to enable them rapidly to enlarge and diversify the production base in the long run the full potential of growth cannot be realized unless the energies of all our people are put to profitable use the emphasis on spreading the impetus and benefits of economic growth to the weaker sections is thus necessary in the interest of equality as well as growth the plan will now assist the less 
prosperous sections of our farming population to improve their position and make a yet bigger contribution to the national economy greater industrial activity and the modernization of agriculture by adopting intensive methods of cultivation and irrigation would mean that a larger proportion of young men seeking jobs could find employment nearer home